Greetings and yo, Joe. Today's episode highlights the USS flag from G.I. Joe. G.I. Joe rebooted to the 3.75 inch scale back in 1982, and they did very well financially. Then they took a big gamble in 1985 after reviewing their massive sales numbers from 1984, and they gave the Go Joe green light for the USS flag, which is considered one of the penultimate holy grails for toy collectors. I was lucky enough to snag one at a local flea market from a great company, Triple C Toys, at Flea Traders Paradise in Sevierville, Tennessee several years ago, and at a great and fair price. The USS Flag was a limited production run, massive toy. I never saw one in the wild in the Knoxville, Tennessee area growing up in the 1980s, where there was World of Toys, Children's Palace, Toys R Us, Kmart, Sears, and then the Sears catalog. All of these franchises are largely gone now. The USS flag was initially $89.99 and then quickly got ramped up to $109.99 back in 1985. It was the largest G.I. Joe toy to come out at seven and a half feet long, three feet wide, and three feet tall. Although it was not realistically scaled, it was very impressive and fun. It included a tow vehicle, Admiral's launch, and an exclusive action figure, Admiral Keyhall. More to come on exclusive features. The true scale for a USS flag would have been insurmountable for a, a toy line. Uh, it would have been 65 foot long and 13 feet wide. The USS flag was a Nimitz class super carrier. It was briefly shown in the live action G.I. Joe movie in, with the Baroness in protective custody uh, recently. The toy was discontinued in 19 1987. Perfect condition today in a box can go for $10,000 to $25,000, believe it or not. Some customs exist on the internet where people have made it float in a swimming pool. I've created a custom mixed genre diorama for mine. Here's a little history on the USS flag. Before that, let me recommend the Toys That Made Us series on Netflix that has a great episode on G.I. Joe, including the flag. Mine is 90 99% complete. I display mine on a blue foam board to simulate the ocean, and it is currently displayed on our non-functional pool table. I include previews of mine uh, with a Godzilla Shogun 1977 figure, uh, which itself goes for $500 to $700. Uh, then with MASH 4077 figures, Predator in DC, the G.I. Joe Whale, the G.I. Joe Sky Striker Jets, and various other their toy line, some custom. The USS Flag uh, toy had a PA megaphone bullhorn system, 16 deck clips, a rester hook, Admiral's launch, radar antennas, an American flag, six missiles, hook, three deck ladders, engine access covers, multiple chairs, fuel carrier slash trailer, tow vehicle, radio man's computer, an armory, Admiral's console, Stangley on, purge valve, helm, bridge, etc. Most importantly, this is a toy and modeler channel that will include model railroading episodes too in the future, but I'd like to honor and pay tribute to real life soldiers that served, including my father in the Navy, my uncle in the Army, and my father-in-law in the Air Force during wartime. May these toys inspire future generations to step up against evil, which never dies and to preserve peace and honor and their sacrifice and keep it in our memories. God bless.